Sup guys, Juggalo here back again. Um, I was having some issues uh, for some reason, and I don't know why, but apparently you can't leave the USB thumbstick while it's updating or something. Once it initializes and restarts, you have to take this out. Uh, I don't know if this is the case for other users, but this is what happened to me. And uh, basically, once you do everything and everything is good to go, you are going to go to like a brand new PlayStation, essentially meaning that you have to do the date, time, set up your connections for internet, everything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that I have it updated. Of course, I'm going to back out of here and sorry for the light glare, but we're going to go back. And if you go up top, we're going to go to settings where I was before right there and then we're gonna go scroll down to system storage management I believe and then from there you look to your right barely can see it 862 gigabytes of free space and then really it's 861 so I got about a 300 gig you know 361 gig improvement and keep in mind that the OS is about 100 gigs and then you have to format the hard drive and all that stuff so whatever it does with the hard drive is what it does so the hard drive upgrade was a success now I can upload or download more things onto my hard drive which is nice kinda of wanna make the PlayStation 4 into a media center but Gotta wait for that update so it can read MP3s and everything still. I'm not sure if that update has happened yet, but that's what I've been seeing. But anyways, guys, I think that is about it. It wraps it up for this video. Sorry if the video is too long, and if it did help you out, I really am glad that it did help you out and everything like that. And always, comment, subscribe, rate this video, click that like button, and you guys have a great day. Bye.